The field of text to speech or TTS models have come a long way in the last 2 years. One of the leading and promising open source model is Chatterbox. I have been covering this model on the channel for a long time and this is one of those models which holds lot of promise when it comes to realistic voice. In this video we are going to install this locally and I will be testing it out on various prompts. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Please also follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype, without a fluff. Before we start the installation, let's check out what exactly is this model. Chatterbox Turbo is a new model which represents quite a significant advancement in text-to-speech technology optimized specifically for real-time applications and voice agents with as realistic human voice as possible as per their model card but we will test it out. With a compact 350 million parameter architecture, the model achieves impressive efficiency gains over its predecessors while maintaining high quality audio output. Before I show you the installation, allow me to just share one key innovation which lies in its streamlined MEL decoder which has been distilled from a 10 step process down to a single step, just single step, which dramatically reduces computational overhead and VRAM requirements. This makes it particularly well suited for deployment in production environment where low latency is critical while maintaining quality, especially for conversational AI agents and interactive voice applications. So I am going to use this Ubuntu system. You can install it on CPU, but I am going to use this GPU server with NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU or CPU or VM on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU. So please do check them out. Now, next step is to git clone the repo of this chatterbox and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Third and final, just install everything from the source. You can also just simply quick, quickly install it, pip install chatterbox, but I would highly suggest you do it like this way. And that is done. Now from the root of the repo, simply launch this demo, app.py. And the first time when you run this, this downloads the model, which is just over one gig. It's a very small model. And the Gridu demo is running. Let me take you to my local browser and access it. And this is where Chatterbox Turbo is running. Let me generate it with this small 300 uh, letter script. You can also increase it if you want to use their pip install. But for now, let's go with this. And also, um, I will be showing you all of these emotions in different prompts. So let me click on generate. While it generates, let's check the VRAM consumption. It is consuming just 4.5 gig of VRAM, which is fine. As I said, you can easily run it on CPU too. So let's wait for it to finish and then we will play it. Also, one thing I want to clarify is that I'm running it in my VNC client, which at times introduces some of the pauses. So let me play it to tell you what I mean. Let's play this. Oh, oh that's hilarious. <laughs> um, anyway, we do have a new model in store. It's the Skynet T800 series, and it's got basically everything, including AI integration with ChatGPT and all that jazz. Would you like me to get some prices for you? You see, it's really, really cool. Thankfully, it didn't introduce any pauses because of my connection, but it looks really, really good stuff. Let's try out a few of my uh, own. So I have, this is just a customer service one. Let's generate it. And there are a few things like clear throat, chuckle, gasp, so let's see how it goes. And the speed is quite good too. I completely understand your frustration. Let me see what I can do here. <clears throat> okay, I've checked your account and oh wow. You've been a member for 10 years. That's amazing. <laughs> Let me upgrade you to premium right away. 
no charge. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's do a podcast style one. Let's generate it. So you see it's a podcast with high energy. And there are a few other emotions which I have included. Let's wait. Let me play it. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> so, so this is what I was talking about. It actually says welcome, but due to, uh, I think, this greedy stuff being accessed through VNC, it just skips that. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> so our guest today just told me the craziest story backstage. <laughs> I'm not even sure I believe it. But before we dive in, let me tell you about our sponsor. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Skip the ad. This story is too good to wait. So it is quite good. But when it says shush, I think that was that didn't really sound natural. But other than that, uh, towards the end, it was quite natural. Okay, next up, let's check out the storytelling. And not only storytelling, but I'm just trying to see if it can do a bit of a suspense. Within that, let's play this. The old house creaked in the wind. <clears throat> I pushed open the door and <sighs> there it was. A shadow moved across the wall. I held my breath, trying not to make a sound. Then I heard it, a low <sighs> coming from the basement. Okay, maybe I watched too many horror movies. Yeah, it is okay, but not really earth shattering, I would say. And now let's check out this romantic one where I have again included some of the emotions. So let's see how it goes. But I, if you notice in the previous one, it did, didn't do the love one. So it, I think, missed it. But we'll check it again in the next one. There is also love here. Eh? So let's see. Come here. Shh. Closer. You have no idea how long I've been thinking about this moment. The way you look at me, it drives me absolutely crazy. Mm -mm. I know we said we'd take things slow, but <laughs> honestly, I don't think I can wait anymore. <sighs> Just stay right here with me tonight. Cool. Okay, let's do the voice cloning. So let me give it a reference audio of my own because I have been using there. So I'm just going to go here and I think I already have one of my own. So I'm just going to select this. Let me play this. Joy is found in simple moments of gratitude and true contentment comes when we truly value the small. So let's generate the same one and I'm going to do it in the real time. So that you would also check if you want you can also set some of the advanced options around temperature top p top k for just to control the output but let's go with the default ones let me play this come here Shh. closer huh. you have no idea how long i've been thinking about this moment the way you look at me huh, it drives me absolutely crazy <laughs> i know we said we'd take things slow but <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I can wait anymore. Huh. Just stay right here with me tonight. So sigh and I think laugh could be improved a lot, but voice cloning is really, really good. Let's do a female one now. I'm just going to go another one. Okay, next up I have given it this prompt and this is a reference audio. Happiness is a fleeting feeling that can be found in life's simplest moments. That was the word happiness, not what you think uh, it's, she said. Uh, but, you know, well. A warm conversation with a loved one, a beautiful sunset, or a good cup of coffee can instantly lift our mood. And then the text is this. Let I already have done it, so let's play this. If, if you love this video, hit that like button. <laughs> subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything we've got channel memberships now with exclusive content <laughs> and follow me on x for daily updates <laughs> you guys are the best links below okay now 
Uh, this one is an English one. They also have released a multilingual one, which I will be covering next very soon. So just stay tuned. But look at this. This is really, really out of this, especially the voice cloning. Um, emotions can be improved a lot. But other than that, I think they have done wonderfully well. Try it out. Check it. Let me know what do you think. Again, please like the video, subscribe and consider becoming a member. And this was their previous QTS model around six months ago. It was quite good too. And I think this model has a promise of becoming the challenger to 11 labs and so many other tools which are uh, hosted closed paid versions. But let me know what do you think. Please follow me on X2 as that helps. Thank you for all the support.